Now, this is probably one of the more important settings and more one of the more common questions that we get asked, which is to do with notifications and the fact that within a class or when you're working on something, you get notified when, say, your dragon needs feeding in a game or your friend sends you a message um, through iMessage or any of those sorts of things, and they're called notifications. Now, in um, iOS 6, there was a do not disturb function that was put in, and you can see it just here, but we're going to talk about um, notifications first because it forms one of the fundamental parts of a teaching lesson and a management tool that students need to be aware of. So if we have a look here under notifications, they've got uh, straight at the top this called do not disturb, and do not disturb is a function that was put in to allow students and people to put a separator between an alert coming up on your screen and um, you acting on it or being disturbed by that. So if I send a message and I had do not disturb switched on, then it would actually be blocked and it wouldn't actually arrive on my screen until the do not disturb um, function was turned off. Now you can either manually set it or you can do it by time and we'll show you about that in a minute. But I think it's important to have a look at all of the actual different um, apps that have a way of notifying yourself if something goes wrong. So, or some, not something goes wrong, but something is in use or wants to send you something. So if we have a look on here, um, so your calendar and your photos and your game center and your dictionary and these are your Facebook apps. When somebody would send you a message on Facebook, Generally, it would pop from the top and alert you that there, there was a message there um, that was coming up on there. So like I just dragged down from the top. If we have a look, um, let's say iTunes U, you can set um, where each banner or each alert comes from as well for a notification. So it'll show you the most um, five recent items for this particular one for the iTunes U app. It'll then go and show you I can have no notifications at all. I can have it running from the top, um, which would be a banner, and I could have it as an alert in the middle. And I could either tell it if it was locked, um, to show on the lock screen or not show on the lock screen. And every single app itself has the ability to do this. So um, anything that, that can send a notification, then it has an option to turn it off. So I've also got the other ones that are not in my um, notification center, such as Mail and New York Times and all these sorts of things. So notifications are basically an alert that an app or something is sending you to say that something's happened or somebody wants to contact you or something within a game is taking place. Um, and they can be quite annoying if you've got, say, a presentation going on on the board um, or if you're trying to type a document or for a teacher if you're trying to keep students on task. So we're going to show some of the behavior management options that you can put on top of this.